I have not been this nervous for anything in probably five to seven years. This is going to be interesting. <clears throat> First time go at 100K. Leona Divide, 100K. Out here starting in Lake Hughes, California. Beautiful sunrise to start. Just past the start finish line, headed up. First climb. Let's see how it goes. Woo. Right, finished the top climb. New friend. Remind me your name again, Josh. Josh. Sixty more miles. On we go. Just over five in at 55 25. Chilling, doing some climbs, but absolutely studying out. And it's gonna get hot. Thank you. You guys have a bathroom around here? Yes, it's right on the road. You'll see it. Oh, awesome. Oh, all right. Just leaving. Hey, station one. Yeah. Feeling good. Um, keep on trying. Thank you very much. We are hour 20 in. Just cruising. Keep on moving. Stay on top of it. Absolutely beautiful. Ten miles in. Fifty-two left. At hour forty-six. Still cruising. Got a huge train behind us, which is awesome. No running solo out here today. So. All right, 15 miles in, 240.30, pulls out, enjoying it. She's crushing it, look at her, nice work, good job. All right, keep plugging along, solid 47 left. That was the longest climb so far, about two miles, and uh, Average six percent, so decent little clip. Had the poles out, rocking them, feeling all right. Need to stay off the solid food. Is starting to feel the stomach, so gonna stay a little more liquid. And uh, can't wait for the watermelon actually at the next aid station. So that's what I'm actually craving right now. So long two mile downhill into the turnaround aid station at mile 20. Feeling good. All right, according to my watch, it's at 20 and 3.30. So, got the headphone in. Give me a little extra juice with some music. Not something I'm used to, but got a long day out here, so give me some extra juice. Uh, a station should be any minute. Gotta turn her back around and head back up. All right. Good job. Thanks, everybody. Right. I should only grab a piece of watermelon. Oh, and oh, really fast. I have more. Good job. Now I'm out. Thanks, guys. See ya. Good job, guys. All right. 20 mile turnaround. Now, time to climb myself out of here and keep my fingers crossed. I don't overcook it. So, need to focus on not overcooking it on this uphill. Get myself going. 20 in, still feeling decent. Let's go.
Nice job, nice job, nice job. You decent climb. Still, nice job, well done. Still feeling good on a little bit less steep part. My poles, they're coming in handy. Steve-O, these ones are for you, buddy. Just finished a two plus mile uphill and that was quite the soul crushing uphill. Mostly walking, but a lot of pole use. Now, got a 1.7 mile downhill. Let's try to refine my legs, get some nutrition in, and just keep plugging away. Still, not a bad single track to run on. Absolutely stunning. Nice little dunk of the hat in the waterfall. Cooling off. Man, that felt good. Now my head is nice and chilled. Pulling in, 26 mile aid station. Chilling. Nice quick aid station there. Got a quarter mile, finish this climb out, and then going down. Uh, see if I can get with somebody here. Spend some time with somebody for a little bit. Good. Quite warm out. Luckily every once in a while, and I hear another stream, we just stream for me to dunk my hat in, but uh, yeah, seat's gonna play a factor. Staying on top of the liquids. Trying to stay cool where I can. That made us so indifferent. We're drifting in the dark. Can we do better? Wish I could rewind back to the side. Just hit 30 miles on my watch. Five hours, 27 minutes, which is probably gonna be about 20 minutes or so ahead of what my pacing that I wanted to do. So make sure I gotta be smart here in these middle 20 something miles for the last crushing climb. So what I'm noticing about ultras is they always put the hardest climb for some reason at the very end. So, all right, coming into the 33-ish mile aid station, uh, about six, Oh nine. Had a little tough uphill. Uh, a little waterfall and downhill brought me back to life, but just a little watermelon and potatoes and a little bit of cola. A station time. About a nine minute stop at that A station. And off I go. Got 1.6 mile climb with uh, about 900 feet, so. Time to get the poles out and start trekking. Wow, that was a brutal climb. <clears throat> Super, I walked the whole thing. These poles, man, that was a grind. Perfect to cross over that 40 mile mark. So about 6.46 in, Let's see if I can find a jogging rhythm after that massive climb. Ah, still motoring along. Seven hours, 10 minutes in. Starting to catch some people, so. Not sure what race they're in, but just try to stay steady and see what happens. Feeling good though, shockingly, for over seven hours into running. Well, more like run walking. Uh, pretty long downhill, feeling like I just got a really good second wind. Just passing some people in 55k, they're high-fiving and cheering on, so feels good. Keep going. Try not to overcook this downhill because I know it'll just mess me up if I do it, but enjoying it. Trying to ride the high because I know a low is going to come soon. All right, a lot more of an efficient aid station on that climb. 2.78 left. I'm really surprised, like... I actually feel okay, but I know how fast I can derail out here on the trails, just from my experience in the Grand Canyon. So 
Oh boy. I am in a dark spot. We still got 1.2 miles left of this climb. Just trying to hold it together. It's getting real hot out here. Wind has stopped. Ooh. I get out of this paint cave. Not a soul in sight. Fifteen miles left. I am still really hurting, but we're getting closer to the end. And I know this next aid station is gonna be rejuvenating because then I'm only on my way back to the finish. This is the last turnaround. Yeah, despite the pain, we'll get there. Still enjoying it. Woo! A little bit longer of an aid station. Just got to power hike up this hill. A little less than 15 left. Come on now. She told me a little tidbit EMT there because I was so warm. So stick ice in your pants. So now it looks like I peed my pants, but I am cooling down. So pro tip, ice in your groin. Just struggle right now. Just had a little bit of dry heaving. 11 and a half miles left. Gonna be a lot of walking from here on out. Obviously 12 hours out the window. Now just trying to hit my goal of just finishing. Finishing cut off is 16 hours. So I've got quite a bit of time to do this. Almost at the top of the second to last climb. And one small climb left. But a huge downhill I'm a little concerned about for my legs. So we'll see. You keep it going. Finally, some let down from the sun. Feels good. Less than a mile to this climb. Woo! Last aid station. 6.4 left. And then I'm done. My body's only handling water, so this is a little bit of a challenge, but let's keep it going. Still on the struggle bus, but 6.4. Just leaving the aid station. Sun is going down and it's absolutely stunning. So, uh, one more giant climb left. Uh, not so giant, about half as big as the last one. And then I'm home. Point five downhill. That we got left. Just slog and charter our way down. Ooh. We are down to the last Ooh. mile. Oh, this paint cave has been about 22 miles long. Awesome. But loving it. And having fun. First 100k. Almost done. Oh, what's the best 673. Yeah. Right I will get there. Yeah. Uh, boom. As you can see, finished in the absolute darkness. But first 100K done. Goal accomplished. Goal was do something that I didn't know if I was going to finish. And there was definitely moments where I questioned if I was going to make it or not. It was 22-ish miles of suffering because I couldn't take down any nutrition so absolutely loved it amazing time fun race challenging race amazing volunteers first 100k loving it you yeah.